Okay, I'm going to say a little bit today about Cara Therapeutics. Cara Therapeutics is a clinical stage biotechnology company in Stamford, Connecticut, founded in July 2004 by Derek Chambers, Michael Lewis, and Frederic Menzaghi. The company is uh, 14 years old. It engages in research development and commercialization of pharmaceutical products, including a post-surgery pain medication made from cannabis delivered via IV. Now, this is one of the drugs going through phases of uh, approval. So as it stands, Cara's earnings and daily movements mean little else than the expression of the people's sentiment. In truth, if the drug passes the approval process, then the company will start making money and the stock will rise to reflect the value of the new drug on the market. If the drug fails, it's a penny stock, sprinkled with a little lawsuit for fraud thrown in. This is one of the damn cat is stepping on my teleprompter. Baby cat. Baby cat. Mm -mm. Stop it. The company and its endeavors are important to the medical industry induced opioid crisis and the people suffering from it. Not to mention the new and emerging ways that marijuana can be useful to humans legal. The company has a market cap of 399.13 million. And I'd say that's small inching to medium size. For the stock price, 52 week low, $9.35. 52 week high, 28. Fifty. Uh, volatile, very. Um, Jim Crumley says, and I do agree with him here, an investment in the volatile car therapeutics is essentially a bet on a single drug for pain, itching, and inflammation that the company has in human trials. CR 845. The reliance on a single molecule for the survival of the company makes this stock pretty risky, but it's the price of that drug that keeps investors interested. CR845 acts on receptors in the periphery of the body and on Im immune cells without crossing the blood-brain barrier. The fact that CR845 doesn't affect the central nervous system means that it lacks the drawbacks of today's opioid medications, including euphoria, that often leads to abuse. I bloody agree. A little while ago, Cara Therapeutics was mentioned on Jim Cramer. I didn't even know who he was. We were floating from $14 on upwards to $16, um, hoping for a modest $17 or $18, when all of a sudden people flooded in. The drug itself was between trials and nothing was happening. Everybody was waiting as they are now for the next stage of, um, of approvals, approval trials, phases and such. But the stock shot up to $28 over mentioning, which is why I say it was only sentiment. The earnings don't matter for car therapeutics because it's not about, it's not even a company that has a product that they sell to make a profit yet. They're a clinical stage, they're creating it it's almost a bet on their success to tell you the truth which is you know we only hope that they do succeed but hope is all you can really can't even market their products and say well I enjoyed using it <laughs> but but yeah <clears throat> that's really all I have to say um, you know once it went up to 28 then all the people who had been long for, th for a long time they knew that this was an abnormal move because there was no news coming out there was no uh, trials hadn't 
you know, move. So they took their profit, and all these loans taking out massive amounts of profit dropped Cairo Therapeutics the next day. I think it was like 40% in one day. It, for a total of about 50, 51, 56%, um, it went down in, in, the, in the days after that. It was terrible. And um, at the moment, Cairo Therapeutics is at a 12. 1254, 1284, up 4.9% here today. Today is the 2nd of January, and I wanted to say a few words about Cara Therapeutics. Good old Cara. Okay, well, if you're still here and you've listened to me waffle on for six minutes, damn near then here goes a little more information if you're interested in Cara Therapeutics. Um, of course they can be found there on Cara on, on Robinhood. As I said they're approximately $12.84. We don't know the date of the next um, phase of the trial. It just keeps being rumor and speculation but nothing solid. It was supposed to be December and now they're saying, it's mid somebody's saying, the grapevine saying mid-January, but nothing solid yet to go on. The um, company was founded by Derek Chalmers. He's a PhD, D.SC, I don't know what the hell that means. Uh, CEO, he's the president and director, and he's one of the co-founders. Uh, Manny Mohindru, PhD, CFO, Chief Strategy Officer. And this is the management team now. Uh, Michael E. Lewis, if I remember right, he was one of the founders. PhD, scientific chief scientific advisor. Federico Mengazi, he's one of the, the the last of the founders. He PhD, senior vice president of research and development. Uh, Joe Stolfer, D.O. I don't know what that means. Uh, MBA, chief medical officer. Um, Eric Vandal is the Vice President of Commercial Operations and Scott Terillion, Terillion General Counsel. The Board of Directors has our founder Derek Chalmers um, along with Harrison M. Baines who's a director, Jeffrey L. Ives PhD and director, Daniel Slagle director and Martin Volgenbaum, director. And um, in the future, I'll take a little look into who these people are, who, who are the executive team in charge of making this drug, in charge of marketing this drug thereafter, its success, or saving us from financial destitution after failure. Who are these people in charge of the Cara Therapeutic ship? This is going to be important, uh, and um, so I hope to come back with a little summary on the executive team, uh, the management team and the board of directors and also figure out what, how important are they? Do they vote? Are they in the lab? Who knows? We're gonna find that out too. Anyway, this is Leon Dale and this is my video about Cairo Therapeutics.